Hey guys, it's me, Derek, and welcome to my weekly series where I give you guys an update on my life and what's been going on. But today, the video is going to be a little bit different. We'll start out with what's been going on, and then we'll move to something kind of bigger that I've been meaning to talk about, but I haven't talked about because of reasons. I, I, I can't think of any other excuse. I'm sorry. Um, so... The, this week, um, if you guys watched the last week, I told you guys about something big coming up. So, Friday, last actually it was last Thursday, I applied for a job. And within an hour, I got a text message about a job. And it was for a job that um, where I make signs and uh, de do designing and screen printing, which is something that I'm very comfortable with doing. I'm a little bit uh, behind in terms of of experience on screen printing but I have done it um, and I started that today first thing nine o'clock in the morning uh, and I have to say it takes a lot of weight off my shoulders because a I can start saving now and start saving to get a vehicle again and get back on the road and you know I'm happy I'm a whole lot happier <laughs> uh, that's you guys probably see me on the stream the stream these last few streams we've had has been amazing we don't get very many people watching the streams but you know it, it's I've had a great time just kind of catching up because you know I'm happy now I, I, I feel happy the, there's a, there's a few things in my life that I'm missing like my fiance and I can't wait uh, to see her again but um anyways yeah I started the job um, I started my first consultation with the weight loss doctor uh, for the bariatric sleeve, which I'm excited about that. That should be getting done in August, if all things go planned. And we've tried this before. We've tried this three times now. And finally, I'm hoping this works out. So it seems like things... I, I said in 2018 that I, I believe this is going to be the year that things start getting better for me. And I, and I believe that. Uh, we're not necessarily seeing any growth on the channels. We're not seeing anything like that. But, you know, we still have some great some people that's within our channel. Uh, rather, it's on Twitch, Mixer, Smashcast, you name it. Um, but are hanging out with us. We're having a good time on the streams. And, you know, you guys stay engaged. And, um, you know, even if there's like one person or half a person for some reason... Uh, that's watching these videos, and that that means a lot to me. I'll continue doing these because you know I'm, I don't really care about getting big. I care about this is something I like. Um, it makes me feel good, and that's why I'm kind of aggravated about the subject I want to talk about. So if you guys have been keeping track the last I think it's the last couple months or so with the whole Logan Paul and the Suicide Force thing. Um, I've not really said anything about it. I've been asked questions about it um, on stream, and I kind of gave my opinion, but I never really gave a straightforward answer. And that's kind of where I want to go with this. So YouTube just made some new changes to their system where, you know, it's going to try to stop things like this from happening. Uh, Logan Paul, if you didn't know, he made a video when he went to the uh, suicide forest in Japan and shown a dead body of a suicide victim and he made light of it then he made an apology video and you know you know how it goes he came back three weeks later still a douchebag and still douche douchey things and now youtube just came out with a thing where he's no longer getting ad revenue right now just due to the fact that he's like i guess tasing rats and he bragged about getting a million new subscribers due to these things um and, you know, um, it, it, it's, it's crazy that it got to the point where that was allowed. You know, we see a lot of um, these new YouTubers that are douchebags. I, I don't understand how they get that big just for being douchebags. You know, rather it be prank videos or, you know, just acting like an idiot online um, and bragging about, you know, whatever. Uh, that's Logan Paul, Jake Paul, whatever Paul, every every YouTuber it seems anymore that you see new has some kind of controversy surrounding them. Now, suicide is not a light thing to be laughing at or making light of. Um, as a victim, not a victim, I'm not a victim of suicide. I tried to kill myself three times. 
I did. I did. That was me. That was all me. I'm not a victim. I'm not a victim. I'm just somebody that tried to give up before thinking about how it's going to affect everyone else. And for somebody to make light of that, that's that's a really big problem. Um, you know, <clears throat> there's people every day, they suffer, they go on through terrible hardships, rather it be money, uh, relationships, uh, spirituality, sexuality, uh, you name it. Everybody's got problems. There's nobody on the internet or on this earth that is perfect. You know, I don't care if you're a Kardashian or, you know, a hobo on the street. Nobody is perfect. There might be moments where you think you're humble, but we've all made mistakes in our lives. And that's one of the mistakes I made. But to make fun of it and say you're not making fun of it, but also profiting off of that, there's something really fucked up about it. And, you know, like I said, I'm not a victim. I'm not a victim. I, I made that decision. I made that dumb decision. I didn't think about what's going to happen. And I'm, I'm here. I didn't make, I didn't do it. Obviously, I'm, I'm right here unless, you know, I'm a zombie and this is The Walking Dead. And for some odd reason, zombies learn how to do uh, <laughs> podcasts and YouTube videos and Twitch streaming, which... You know, that's that's cool too. But no, to make light of it's something ridiculous. I, I, I don't even understand. And you've got people with Axodon. You've got these trolls on the internet, these keyboard, keyboard warriors. I think they're funny by making fun of it. And it's not funny. It's not funny at all. You know, I, I can look at it and I can kind of laugh at myself jokingly. But I can't express that to somebody else who's going through it. You know, I look at it on my end, I was like, I, I was an idiot. I was I was a dumbass. I was selfish. I didn't think about anybody else. I was thinking about me. And, you know, just to see, just to see that um, event take place, uh, it, it rubbed me really wrong. And I've not talked about it. I, I haven't. I, you know, try to stay out of it. Because, you know, the channel's small. This is never going to get seen. But if it does, you know, at least people will know. Um, but yeah, um, I'm kind of happy at this point that YouTube is kind of stepping up and, you know, making the decision to stop this and punish those who actually go out and do this shit. Yeah, that's going to hurt everybody else. And we'll get to that next. Um, but yes, yeah, there, there's a lot like you know, smaller YouTube channels like me or somebody just starting out or somebody with a thousand subscribers. You know, we have to deal with that now. That's on us. The next generation of YouTubers are going to have it really hard. It's going to be really hard for them. You know, rather have been from the adpocalypse, um, you know, you, na you name it. It's either the adpocalypse or this shit or the drama channels. We all have to pay for that. All of us. So there might be a chance that, you know, somebody like me will only get 150, 160, 170 subscribers and just put out videos every day. But somebody that's a douchebag and does goes around and does really stupid shit to impress kids that are half their age, they're gonna keep growing. That's just how it works. Just how it's sad, but it's how it works. And that's where I want to get to my next point because I don't want to keep on going on that. So, as you know, <laughs> actually, you guys, everybody has a hero they look up to, right? And they want to get up to that point where they're, they want to be like that guy. They want to be like that girl. They want to be like that transgender person uh, or whatever they want. Um, that, that's, that's been my case ever since I started this. And, and it's my fault, my fault here. I, I wanted to be a channel like Boogie. I, I've watched Boogie's stuff for almost 10 years, 10 years, give or take. And this makes me sound entitled. And I just realized this. Today, as I was sitting down at work at my lunch break, I was just thinking about it. After I read an article, it wasn't an article, it was a post on Reddit uh, of somebody being entitled to an autograph from Boogie at a VidCon. Uh, I won't give any names. I'm not going to say anything um, disrespectful. But <clears throat> I, it made me think, 
you know, I, I message Boogie on all the time via Twitter, and you know, I've had my last couple um, <laughs> Twitch streams has been some people in my audience that went over to Boogie and said, "Hey, I'm going to donate three dollars to you. Go give Derek a, a Boogie Bomb," which that would have been cool. Trust me, that would have been awesome. I would have been pleased by that. And, you know, I really, I'm really thankful that the person that was in my stream did that because, it, you know, that shows that they care about me and they know that, you know, I look up to him. But it's not at this point, I have put so much effort into trying to be like Boogie, but I haven't be tried to find myself. Um, he's got his own life. He's not, he's, he doesn't have to look after his viewers. He might care about his viewers, but, you know, as, as it is, the guy's got 5 million subscribers. I'm one person. Uh, you know, I've been there since the beginning. He doesn't owe me anything. Doesn't. No, he doesn't owe me shit. Um, he's a nice guy, and I, you know, I appreciate his work. But, you know, I came to the realization that maybe I'm trying too hard to be like him, on his channels, but I'm not really showing my real self, who I am. I'm not trying to make, I'm not making a, uh, a presentation of, you know, myself and my creativity. I'm just letting what I've learned from him transfer onto the videos that I make. So I'm almost like a fucked up carbon copy of Boogie, but like a really fucked up version of Boogie. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not, it's not me. I don't want to be Boogie. I want to be Derek. I want to be the Panso Six, the Derek, or whatever you want to call me. I, I, you know, he's my he. Like I say, I I look up to the guy, and part of the reason why I started Twitch YouTube is because I watched him, and you know, I've been, like I said, I put a, I send him a lot of messages, right, and I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't be like, hey, Boogie, you should join me on my stream. You should come check out my video. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, what I should be concentrating on is how happy I am making this content and how happy you guys are to view this content. Not how happy Boogie is if he sees this, which he might not ever see this. So, And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I made a video a couple weeks ago where I challenged him to a dance contest. And I never got seen. But <clears throat> I, 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 I just realized that I need to start concentrating on me, my channel, and my audience, my viewers, my Twitch channel, my Smashcast, my Mixer, me. I, I, I need to make my own name. I don't need to be a discount version of somebody else. And I apologize. I really do. I apologize for, you know, not being myself. I, you know, me talking to talking like that uh, towards him, I, you know, trying to be like him, that, that hurts me. Um, you know, you might deal with my stuttering. You might deal with my anxiety. You might deal with me being a neckbeard. And you might watch me fail a thousand times. But I'm glad you guys are here. And it's for from here on out, this channel was me. This channel was you. This is us. This is us. Uh, that's a, isn't that a television show or something? Apparently it's supposed to be good. <laughs> but, no, I, I really mean it, guys. I, I really appreciate um, the last, last month or so. I came back after a hard, hard time. I'm still going through a hard time. I, you know, you guys know that. And I'm back making content because this is something I love to do. I've got a passion to do that. You know, like I said, nobody might not be watching it, but I still love doing it. And I'm going to continue to improve. I'm going to make this channel my channel. It's going to make it your channel. Um, uh, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end this. That way we can get ready to start streaming again. Because, man, the last few streams have been awesome. Like I said, we didn't get any new subscribers. And maybe one person watched, but we had fun. We had a lot of fun. Um, but <laughs> anyways, guys, um, be sure to share, like, subscribe. You, you know what to do. And, you know, feel free on, on in the comments. Be sure to leave me a comment. Uh, tell me what you think um, about this. How do you feel about a certain hero in your life? Um, what are you going through? And, like I said, my, the door is always open my end. Um, somebody said on stream the other day, said, you know, if you ever got, like, biggest, 
you know, Boogie or Logan Paul. I hope you don't become a douchebag. And that's never going to be the case. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, um, happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to put out a uh, couple more videos this week. We'll be streaming. We're going to start a schedule, hopefully soon. And uh, we'll be streaming regular, so you can go uh, to the other platforms that I listed below. Um, you know, Smash Cash, Mixer, YouTube. Well, obviously YouTube. But Twitch.com forward slash the Pants 06. Uh, I'd love to see you there. And if you, you're not there, that's fine too. But guys, again, thank you so much. And you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you soon.